Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called We Were Us by Keith Urban. And we're going to start out on a D major chord, and I found a couple lyric videos that sounded like they were tuned up and you'd have to capo, but I think the original is actually like two, two pitch. So we're going to start on a D major, and the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. From the D major on our intro, we're going to be going to our E minor chord. We're going to play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger goes to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord. That sounds really, really sad. Now, another E minor you might want to think about is something I call a drone voice in E minor, where you do the third finger on the B string third fret and the pinky on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor 7. So you might want to think about kind of using the or seven and that way you've got the third finger to kind of hang on to in that change between those two chords and that's basically our intro but it's also our verse progression and a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting i like adding something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so we took the d and just tried that a lot you'd have down down up up down d 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 down down up that through our intro verse progression. We got D with down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, of the drums though you may want to think about using something called a 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is right now if we're tapping our foot to the beat we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down down up up down up it's one two one two and that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts one two three four one two three four and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns I really think this kind of matches the the tune is a down up up down up up down up down up 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is on the first beat, you do a down on one and then an up on four. So it ends up you got a long down, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then on the second beat, you do a up on, on the two and then a down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, up, down. progression we have D with a down up up down up up down up down D down up up down up up down up down D minor down up up down up up down up down D minor down up up down up up down up down D down up up down up up down up down D down up up down up up down up down D minor down up up down up up down up down D minor down up up down up up down up down D down and it will basically be repeating things until we get to our chorus part. And our chorus starts on D major, and then we go to an E minor chord, and then we go to something called D slash F sharp. You could just play just the D chord, or if you wanted to, actually what I think would be a really cool option is to do first finger on the low E string, second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger stays on the B string, third fret, and the pinky stays on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like D sus slash F sharp, so you want to use that for that, that change there. And then from there, then we go to a G major chord. And we play G major. There's a couple different ways you may want to think about playing this. We do first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the low E string, third, third finger on the B string on the third fret, and the pinky on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. Um, another way to play the G major is to do just first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the low E string, third, third finger on the high E string on the third fret. You could kind of work the G that way. 
cool thing about the drone voicing where you got three and four on the B and E is, is that that can kind of help that change from the E minor to the D sus slash F sharp to the G major. So we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have D with down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, D slash F sharp. Sixteenth pattern. We got D with a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down,
That sounds an A major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may want to try and substitute in something called A7 sus for this too, because it's another one of those trone voicings where you do one on the D string, second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the B string, third fret, and the pinky on the high e string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E, that sounds like A7 sus or suspended. So at the very end, there's kind of a quick G and then a quick A at the very end. So we're doing our down, down, up, up, down, up. You want to do kind of a down, down, up on each of those chords. So we try to throw our bridge that way. We have B minor with down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up. to that, on the B minor you'd have the A string for your bass, and on the A major at the end you'd have the A string for your bass. So one way to kind of get the basses in there on that last part is to do just kind of a bass down, a bass down up on the G and the A. So we tried it that way, we'd have B minor with the A bass down, up, up down, D with the D bass down, up, up down, B minor with the low E bass down, up, up down, G with the low E bass down, up, up down, B minor with the A bass down, up. tried our 16th pattern through that. On the last G and A, you can do G with kind of a down, up, up, and then hit the A for your down, up, up, down, up, down. So that B minor down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, acapella chorus and if you're soloing this out you might want to think about just kind of doing downs on the chords to kind of back up your voice through that part and you know, sometimes that can be kind of cool to stay in the key or we you could just strum through that and we could do it do it with kind of the down down up up down up Strum through We Were Us by Keith Urban, featuring Miranda Lambert. So good luck!